Here we have a hyperbola in general form, which we're going to convert into standard form. We can tell it's a hyperbola because the x squared and the y squared are being subtracted. The first step we're going to take will be to group the x's together and the y's together, giving us 4x squared minus 32x minus 16y squared minus 96y equals, and we're going to add the 144 to both sides, so it equals 144. Now, since we're going to be completing the square, we will need to get leading coefficients of 1 for both the x and for the y. We factor out the 4, giving us 4 times x squared minus 4 goes into the negative 32, negative 8 times. So we have x squared minus 8x. Here we're going to factor out a negative 16. Minus 16 times y squared. We have to pull a negative 16 out of negative 96. Negative 96 divided by negative 16 is a positive 6y. And that equals 140. Four. Now we're ready to complete the square. We'll have 4 times x minus half of negative 8 is a negative 4. x minus 4 squared. So in this box we're going to put a 16. Over here, since this box is being multiplied by 4, we're going to say plus 4 box. And in this box, we're also going to put a 16. Minus 16 times y plus, and half of this 6 is 3. We have y plus 3 squared. Square the 3, and in this box, we're going to place a 9. I'll put another box here where I'll also write the 9. You'll note that this box is being multiplied by a negative 16. So this box here will also be multiplied by negative 16. If we take the 144, the 4 times 16, and the negative 16 times 9, put them all together, we're going to get 64. Now since this is a hyperbola, when it gets into standard form, this 64 will need to become a 1. So we'll divide all of these parts by 64. 4 goes into 64 16 times, giving us x minus 4 squared over 16 minus y plus 3 squared over the 16 over 64, that's 4, equals 1. And we now have a hyperbola in standard form.